Will the Falcons be able to take advantage of a team like the Chargers on the ground? And they're the underdogs here. They're getting three points with the spread. Uh, yep, I think so. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this matchup, like, it's perfect for the Atlanta Falcons. Like, Arthur Smith is, like, one of the most stubborn coaches when it comes to running the ball. And now you give him, like, the juiciest matchup against the Los Angeles Chargers team that hasn't been able to stop the run for, like, the past, I don't know how many years, like, two, three for sure. And so, I mean, this is just a layup for him. And the and the, the Falcons may be getting Cordero Patterson back, too. Man, and that dude is mm. electric with the balls in his hands. So that'll be a game changer. And we already look at the way that the Atlanta Falcons are trending where – you know, they've scored, like, close to, I believe, 30 points in the past couple games. Like, uh, one game against Cincinnati, now you have the shootout that you have against Carolina. And so I feel like they're trending up on their uh, point totals with the past couple games. And then you look at a Chargers team that should match up pretty well against the Atlanta defense where you have Austin Eckler, who will be good on the ground, but then also mm -hmm. one of the most effective uh, running backs catching the ball out of the backfield. Keenan Allen should be healthy now. Now it's a major blow that they don't have my cousin Mike Williams in the in the lineup. Like, that's going to mm. hurt because he's their, like, big play guy, one that they kind of focus on in the end zone. But at, that being said, Palmer has stepped up in some key places. So is DeAndre Carter, and I really like what Gerald Everett gives them. So I feel like that will be their larger presence in the red zone. So don't have any worries about the Chargers uh, scoring points. Atlanta's been trending in the right direction, so I think we will see a lot of points scored in this game, even though I really can't tell you who in the hell is going to win this game. But I think it should be a fun one. I don't want to forget to remind you guys that the Falcons are tied for the league best 6-2 and two against the spread, Jared. Do you think getting three points, they can make it 7-2? and two? Well, they're also 6-1 and one against the spread as an underdog. So, you know, the one time they were a favorite last week, they failed to cover. Um, and, yeah. You know, you, you flip that trend to the underdog status, and, and they're doing even better. So I, I, I think there's a lot of positives to take from Atlanta, but let's be honest, that game – we're talking about this game very differently. Not this game, but last week's yeah. game, Carolina and Atlanta. If DJ Moore doesn't foolishly take off his helmet and Joel Pinheiro doesn't miss the extra point. So, I mean, that was an epic – that was brewing Bad. to be an epic collapse for the Falcons, <laughs> giving up that touchdown the way that they did. And then Carolina just, you know, kind of bumbled the game away with some special teams, randomness, and, of course, the penalty – that caused that extra point to be significantly longer. So I, I don't know how positive I am about Atlanta's win last week. I think it it, it was a win by definition, but I think there's, a some, win's a there's win. some holes. Broken. A win's a win. But this is a Chargers team that's really pissed off coming off the bye after getting their butts kicked by the Seahawks a couple weeks ago. You mm -hmm. would think that Justin Herbert McRib is as least tender as it's been all year, kind of like when I overcooked my steak in the air fryer. Maybe it's hardening up a little bit, a little bit more sturdy there at the rib situation. Um, I, I hope he's healthy. This Chargers offensive line has been really bad this year. L losing rush on Slater is huge. I, I, I don't know what Lindsley's status is, but they need him. I, I think he's probably back healthy after the bye. But, you know, Slater at left tackle has been bad. They need to get some better play there, and we'll see if the offensive line can hold up. The Chargers, if this game's played in a vacuum and the Chargers play their best ball, they win this game by 20 because the Falcons' defense just can't stop them. But the Chargers have a way of charging, so yes, I wouldn't sir. be shocked if it's close. <laughs> they have a way of keeping these games close. I'm not betting this one. I, I like your angle on the top. The, the Falcons' defense is awful, and, and the Chargers can be had in certain spots if Atlanta, you know, schemes it right. So I, I wouldn't be shocked if this one had some fun vibes to it.